Hi, I'm Frederik Gelder, working for NewTech as an application engineer. One of the tasks of an application engineer is to perform measurements and field trials at customers to demonstrate our new products. Hi, my name is Dave Sefis. I'm a technical sales support manager for NewTech since 2000. And one of the jobs I do is work together with our customers and the satellite operators to have new technology we bring to the market uh, to have that endorsed. A while ago, Dave and myself went to the Intelsat Teleport at Fuchstadt to test our new features. The objective of the first test was to demonstrate clean channel technology. Clean channel technology consists of three things. First of all, there's a reduction of the roll-off factors. We now support 15, 10 and 5 percent. And this re reduces the bandwidth that's occupied by carrier. Secondly, there's a significant reduction of the out-of-band noise, which reduces adjacent carrier interference. And thirdly, the carrier itself is much cleaner, which enhances performance. In order for new technologies to be fully accepted by the market, uh, we need to work together with satellite operators to have that new technology endorsed. That's why in this case, we work closely together with Intelsat uh, with testing in order to have our clean channel technology fully approved. We work together with Intelsat to define an exhaustive number of test cases, uh, which were then uh, performed in our labs together with Intelsat. And then after those tests, we set sail for Fuchstadt, Germany, one of their biggest uh, teleports, um, where we jointly did live tests on satellites. For the future, we will continue working with other industry players and the DVB organization to make sure that we continue the enhancements of the DVB standards and we hope that clean channel technology will be accepted as one of the possible candidates for this improvement. The objective of the second test was to check what the maximum achievable throughput is by combining all new tech technologies. The results of this test showed that in a single 72 MHz transponder, the throughput which we achieved was close to half a gigabits per second.